So in this video, we're going to find the directional derivative of this function at the point zero, zero in the direction of this unit vector here, where theta is equal to pi over three. Solution. So we'll start off by writing down the formula for the directional derivative uh, in the direction of a unit vector. So big D sub u. Uh, you don't have to use the arrow, but uh, I'll be correct and use it. Of f of x, y is simply a partial with respect to x at x, y times the cosine of theta plus the partial with respect to y times the sine of theta. So we first have to compute the partial derivatives. Uh, or we can do it all at once. Um, let's do it all at once. So the partial with respect to x, well, the derivative of sine is cosine, so cosine of 2x plus 7y times the derivative of the inside. So the inside function is 2x plus 7y. The derivative of 2x is 2. The derivative of 7y is 0. And we still have cosine theta hanging out there. Plus the partial with respect to y. So the derivative of sine is cosine, so cosine. 2x plus 7y, and this time the chain rule is going to give us a 7 because the derivative of the inside is 7. So 7 sine theta. So now we can go ahead and just plug everything in and we should have the answer. So the directional derivative, which is going to be a number, at, let's see, at 0, 0, is going to be, well, x and y are 0, so it's cosine 0 times 2, and then this theta, theta is pi over 3, so it would be cosine pi over 3. Plus, likewise here, it's going to be cosine 0, which is 1. 7, and then sine of pi over 3, because theta is pi over 3. Cosine of pi over 3 is 1 half. Cosine of 0 is 1, so this is 1 times 2 times 1 half. Boom. Plus 1 times 7. Sine of pi over 3 is the square root of 3 over 2. So we end up with 1 plus 7, square root of 3 over 2. And that's how you find the directional derivative. That's it.